Hey everyone, this is Zach with Sweet CG. I have an update video for our CG Statlink users. Now, as you know, we have CG Statlink for various uh, program for various sports. Um, baseball, softball, as well as football do have uh, XML automation uh, for Stat Crew, as well as uh, DAC stats uh, with limited support for baseball, softball. Um, to get that. XML file into CG Statlink, we provide an FTP solution as well as the ability to browse to a local file, and that requires setting up a, like a, a shared network folder and things like that. Um, we have recently added a new utility program to our website called XML Downloader, which will make things a little easier for you in some cases, particularly if you're customers of Stretch Internet. Now, uh, what you can do in some cases, working with your IT department, you could publish your XML file to a uh, website a URL, and if that's where you put do, if that's how you decide to do it, you could input that XML or uh, URL right here, um, where school.edu is the name of your school, and you know whatever whatever folder path you have, um, and then what would happen is uh, you would create a saved path as well as a timed interval. And what will happen is, whatever that interval is, uh, it will continually download a new copy of that file. Um, I'm actually going to do a test here um, with uh, Stretch Internet. They are uh, allowing uh, the ability to use this utility program to um, grab the XML file from their website for those Stretch customers who are already sending the XML file to them. Uh, for the live stats on uh, their their video player website, so your uh, for those stretch customers where you have your own portal already, you have the opportunity to use your live stats there. Now we can uh, grab that XML file from their site using your game event ID. So what I have right now, there's a game uh, Park University is happening as I record this video. And uh, so I have their six-digit ID, and for those who use Stretch Internet, you'll recognize what this six-digit ID is. Uh, for every game that you create, you're given that ID, and you can get that off your the back-end uh, management portal. So you would um, copy and paste that ID here. You would select a save path, um, and then uh, once this all starts going, I'm going to click Start here. Then over here in CG Statlink, you would configure data source, browse, browse local file, and then you would um, select whatever file you chose to name it as uh, here. So this acts as an intermediate program. Grab the file from the website um, using your own file path or your stretch ID if you're a stretch customer. Set your interval, interval and it'll download onto your hard drive, and then CG Statlink grabs that file. So as you can see here, um, as we go, we should start seeing the pitch count change here. There might be, uh, we're in the bottom, there we go, strikes and pitch changed. So this should hopefully make it easier for anyone uh, who is currently uh, using Stretch Internet and CG Statlink to grab your file, uh, take some of the guesswork out. Uh, and for those customers who are looking for a really great uh, scoring solution for their web streams, um, and you also use Stretch Internet, this would be a great, um, great tool to use uh, to enhance your viewer experience on your website. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us through the website at sweetcg.com under the contact us form and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.